Hi everybody, it's Carrie. How are you doing today? Wanted to come in and talk to you a little bit about these wonderful pickles that uh, I was able to um, make yesterday. They are a homemade, um, homegrown cucumbers that uh, I made into bread and butter pickles. And they, they are really, really nice. You can see there's other things in here besides just the cucumbers, which are, are pickling. Uh, there is onion, and then there is yellow and red sweet peppers, little peppers uh, that you put in your uh, pickle de gallo or your salsa. And this is a really, really, really easy recipe. My uh, vegetable garden has exploded, and I have just so many um, pickle, uh, so many cucumbers out there that I, I wanted to do something that was going to uh, keep them, and uh, that, so we could enjoy them instead of just throwing them away because it's 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 impossible to eat them quick enough. So I used five cucumbers, it, there's three pounds, and I got six jars, six of these jars, uh, out of the cucumbers out of my garden. And so what I did is, I first I washed the cucumbers, and then I chopped them up, and I had to chop some of them into quarters because they were so big that they wouldn't have fit in these jars. Um, so I cut them up into quarters, and then I put them in a bowl, and in that bowl, I covered them in kosher salt. And you do that, you put them in that bowl and you cover them for an hour and a half. That starts the process of pickling. So while they are in the refrigerator, I would then, uh, what I did is I chopped up my onions, I chopped up my peppers, I put those in a bowl, and then I put together all of my dry ingredients as well as my liquid ingredients. and. There's a, a bunch of dry ingredients that go into this, um, and I will link the recipe when, um, at the end of this video, down in the comment sections, I will put the actual recipe so you can see it. This is a refrigerated process of pickling. Um, some people get very afraid of the heat process when it comes to pickling. I'm kind of one of them, and so I was looking for a recipe that I could put in the refrigerator uh, that was much easier to do and much easier to handle, and I, f I found this recipe, and it's extremely simple. So once you pull the cucumbers out of the refrigerator after an hour and a half, and you've heated your dry ingredients and your liquid ingredients together, and you've dissolved all the sugar, you put that on that mixture on top of your now combined um, produce, your cucumbers, your onion, and your peppers, and you pour that liquid on top of that. You then cover that with some sort of saran wrap or plastic wrap, and you put that back in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and you let it sit, and you let it start the process of the pickling. At the 24 hour mark, then you come back and you put it in these jars, and um, you fill it up. You want just a little bit at the top left uh, to, so there's not as much air in it as possible. This is not one of those, those pickling where you're gonna see the tops and dentions on these jars. These are meant to be eaten and eaten within probably a couple of months. Um, the pickling process preserves them, but you don't wanna leave them in your refrigerator for you know five or six months. They're, a cold refrigeration process is meant for you to pickle them, give you extra time, but not just an endless amount of time like you see in some other canning or preserving. Um, but it's a very simple recipe. It's a great recipe, especially if you're just starting out like I am. My husband and I are, are trying to explore and do some more things and can some more things that we've got in our garden. And so this was kind of our first step. It was a very easy process. Um, so please leave me a comment or send me a message. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, always make sure that you put your date on top of your bottles as well. And then just put it back in the refrigerator and you're good to go. Enjoy. It's a wonderful recipe. We've already had some and it's a really nice mixture of tart and sweet. If you like bread and butter pickles, you're gonna love this recipe. So thanks for stopping by today. Do really appreciate it. I do appreciate you taking your time to watch our videos, leave us a comment, and don't forget, please like and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you and uh, have a great rest of the week and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.